I wanted to step in the cage with Habib. Then my next thought was how let down I was that Habib was retiring because I started to realize he was about to make a retirement speech. And then my next thought was somewhat admiration and admiration for him and his body of work and also empathy for him and his scenario because you saw him roll off a just a lifeless Justin Gaethje, go straight to the center of the octagon, start sobbing, diaphragmatic sobbing uncontrollably because the loss of his father. He didn't just lose his father. He lost his best friend, his coach, his mentor, his hero. He lost everything when his dad died. Um, so to, to, it was almost, you could almost feel the aura in the room. It was almost palpable. It was almost, you could almost taste it. You could almost taste the, the pressure that was being lifted off of Habib that night. You could almost, you could almost feel the pressure that got sucked out of that cage that night. It was almost like we, we were there experiencing it with him. It was almost, it was almost this interesting feeling of, man, this guy carried a burden and a weight for the last couple months. And it all just was released. And it was really cool to see that because there's these moments in sport that transcend just the X's and the O's and the wins and the losses and the competitors. It, it, it reminds you that we're all human beings in this microcosm of, of competition whether whether it's God or for him it's Allah or whether it's the universe that, that we are put on this earth to do something great. And what Habib accomplished that night and also somewhat the, the passing and the changing of the guard now to the rest of us top 10 in the UFC lightweight division, that a career ended, a legacy was now cemented he is absolutely the greatest lightweight of all time for what he has accomplished, the, the manner in which he accomplished it, barely ever looking as if he was beatable, barely ever looking as if there was a man alive that, that could knock him out, submit him, catch him, stop his takedown, stop his grappling. He, he was just about, he looked just about as unstoppable and unbeatable as, as a man possibly could inside the UFC octagon.